Hey guys, guess what? I finally built my new PC after 16 years. Not just PC, but gaming setup with corner desk and stuff. Or you can say minimal setup on the corner. This time, it's Core i5 11th Gen 11400 CPU with integrated graphics launched in the spring of this year at around $180. For this budget CPU, I chose H510, the budget gigabyte motherboard launched in the same time for around $70. My budget RAM is single 8GB memory from Twin. I bought a slightly used PSU from Zalman, cost it around $20. The previous PSU used in the building up of PC was faulty so don't get surprised. The super cheap casing for my build is from Thunder. There is no RGB fans in it yet, you can check complete unboxing in the link below. The budget friendly 250GB SSD is from Samsung but don't worry I have later plans to upgrade. Later in this video you will get to tour of my new cool setup. We will do the performance testing on this budget PC in later videos. Don't forget to subscribe and keep watching. After removing the glass, we will remove the side cover and do the proper casing cable management before the motherboard gets in. PSU you are watching is the one that I bought before and it came out as a faulty so I replaced it with Salman as I mentioned earlier. Let's fit the Samsung SSD in our case. Is this CPU is really future proof for at least few years or not? What you guys think, let me know in the comments section. The panel shield or aisle plate is a bit tricky to install. I prefer to fit in the case first rather than fitting along with the motherboard. If you want to watch the unboxing of this motherboard, check out the link in the description. After the motherboard is perfectly fit on the chassis, I will fit the and tighten the screws. Make sure you don't drop them on your mobile like I did here. Make sure you don't forget to connect the 8-pin power connector and also the ATX power connector. It's time to insert our budget gig right into the heart of Gigabyte Mobile. I'm not sure if it's future proof, but it is quite a lot for the moment. Once the CPU is inside, make sure you clip it, paste it, and put the cooler on it.
let's take this budget killer memory stick right into the slots. After connecting the power ITX cable, connect the SATA cable. I also connected all the power SSD LED light and all the pin connectors including the audio and fan ports on the Bobo. If you like me to do detailed part installation, let me know in the comments. How would you rate my cable management? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Let's fire it up. Well, we can worry about the graphic card thing later. Right now, enjoy my minimal corner setup in Inferno theme. What you guys think of my setup? What you guys think of small room minimal setups? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and see ya.